initial visual inspection, it's good to take the leak detector and go through all the joints, schraders, fittings, ball valves, everything to make sure that even though you didn't see any oil, you still make sure that you don't have any leaks. So we're going to run over this system pretty quick. Once again, even though it's windy, if we have a leak, we're going to be able to pick it up. Trader caps, fittings, flare fittings. I'm going underneath of them because refrigerant's heavier than air. If it's going to be up here, the biggest chance is going to be un underneath of the joint. longer it takes because I'm pulling a sample with the pump so it doesn't take long to pick something up. Every so often the unit goes into purge and zeroes itself and then goes back to measuring again. Now we're back on measure. I find a lot of these leaking, especially on rooftop units where the expansion and contraction from the summer and the winter affect it. So I always like to look at those real close. The devices like this regulator that are held together with bolts and have multiple gaskets, it's a good thing to check those in great detail just to make sure because once again that expansion and contraction can loosen those gaskets up and cause some leaks. Some of the, uh, some of the problems we have with the condensers, uh, especially on the headers, is the oil that may be leaking out of it. If you do have a small leak, it uh, gets washed away from the weather and also the pressure washers uh, every year. Uh, so seeing an oil spot may not be uh, the best indicator because it's been washed away. But uh, going over the header with a leak detector is uh, a necessity uh, anytime you got that leak detector out and on the roof. Once again, close visual inspection is always the best way to start leak checking in the rack room. Same thing applies as outside. We're going to check all the valves, especially anything that's mechanical that's held together with bolts and nuts and kind of gaskets. We check all of our fittings and brace joints. Straighter caps, especially ball valves. Uh, some of the points that we do like to concentrate on is all mechanical joints. Uh, all of our uh, pressure control, uh, oil lockouts, oil failure lockouts, uh, oil float assembly, uh, any mechanical joint in that rack house uh, needs to be looked at. Uh, visually looking for any oil that may be seeping out uh, and then also running the leak detector over it and bubbles if uh, need be. One of our dehumidification units on the roof, uh, leak checking this, uh, again the same pr process looking at all mechanical joints. Uh, looking for any obvious signs of leaks with any oil that may be dripping or puddling someplace. Uh, but then also looking at all the controls, uh, all schraders, any mechanical joint, uh, braze joints, uh, if you suspect something. Uh, I would also go into the evaporator, looking at the expansion valves, and again down the header assembly on that also, where the distribution tubes are. One of the, uh, one of the items we'll have to deal with is the overhead lines that go down and then inside of a soffit wall. Uh, before they go into the backs of our multi-deck cases or down into a pit for your coffin cases on the sales floor. Uh, if you suspect a leak, you may have to cut a hole in the wall uh, to leak check in the wall and uh, work your way up uh, to the actual line set that's up in the steel. Uh, bring it as soon as it's left in to um, uh, leak check the line sets. Uh, expose the actual copper piping. You will have to cut holes into the uh, insulation and uh, leak check from there, I'm looking for oil and for any leaks that you might have. Refrigerant lines that run out to our coffin cases, anything that's underground in the pits uh, that run in the, uh, in the PVC pipe, uh, one thing to watch out for is your insulation. Hopefully the contractor, when it was installed, insulated the piping properly. 
if it's not insulated properly, uh, and you're supposed to your low temp, uh, ice will form on it, and that ice will build up over a period of time and either crush the pipe, uh, pull the joints apart, uh, cause damage down there, and it will cause leaks. Uh, so pits are something to keep an eye on in the stores.